Good day, my friends. My name is Lego, and today we are going to talk about math in art. Now, I know what a lot of you are going to say, or at least some of you. There's no way math could possibly be in art. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is not true at all. Math is all over in art. There are all kinds of right angles, which I'll write down. There are all kinds of... Oops, sorry, I really need to tape this down. There are all kinds of complementary angles. Complementary angles, hope you guys can read that. And there are, there are just lots of angles, especially dealing with geometry. So, if any of you are in geometry, this might help you see your art a little bit differently. So, to start with, I'm going to show you a kind of an algebra trick, which I know makes no sense with the fact that I just said geometry, but I'm going to show you an algebra trick for your Copic markers if you guys have Copic markers. So, pull out a couple of grays, because it's easiest to show with a gray. Okay, so I have C1 and C3 here. Doesn't matter what gray, so long as one is lighter and one is darker. You could even try this with two of the same color, but you'd probably wouldn't see the result very well. Anyway, I'm going to switch pencils here. Maybe I'll be able to write a little bit darker. So, when you write out an algebra problem, it looks something like this. A simple algebra problem anyway. You can do, I don't know if I'm even writing big enough. You know what, here, let me pull out my black marker and I'll just write loads bigger. Here you go. So, if you consider this like an, a simple algebra problem, then it becomes quite simple. C1 plus C3 equals C4. But with Copic markers, you have to do this in a specific order. If you pull out your C1 by showing it first, okay, and lay a color down, or lay your color down, I realize it's not going to, oh, maybe it will show up on camera. Then, if you wait for it to dry a bit, you don't want the colors to mix. You can pull out your C3, and it should darken the color a little further than your normal C3 marker, creating C4. So, for those of you who work with Copics, this is kind of, I mean, it's not necessarily new to you guys, but this is cool, this next thing. Then, if you flip this problem around, C3 minus C1 will equal C2. So, how do you show this on paper? Move that over. How do you show this on paper? Well, you start with your darker marker, C3. Put it down, sorry. You start with a darker marker, like this. Then you put your lighter marker on top. And what it will do is, after a little while, it might take a bit of work, after a little while, it will start to lighten it, creating C2 instead of C3. And that's how algebra fits into art. Well, at least with Copic markers. I'm sure you could do this with any sort of numbered system or anything really with colors. But, it doesn't stop there. I'm going to move this here. Some of the more, uh, well, the perfect lines in anime, which I will draw something here real quick, to make a really good sort of anime kind of a picture, the perfect number, or the perfect placement for eyes and a nose, mind you, this is just a rough sketch, happens to be in a triangle, like this. 
but not only is it a triangle, I now realize I didn't draw that big enough. Here, hopefully you guys can see that. Not only is that a triangle, but that triangle, if I pull my black marker out once again, that triangle is a specific kind of triangle used in geometry a lot. This is an equilateral triangle. Big word. There we go. This is an equilateral triangle. And this is also what they use in anime. For those of you who are fans of anime, even those of you who are not fans of anime and just simply artists, this will help you. The nose is always, or seems to always be, in an exact triangle away from the eyes. The mouth has a similar uh, effect. When you draw the mouth in an anime f sort of fashion, the nose creates an equilateral triangle to the edges of the mouth. It's just kind of something I've noticed. And there are lots of things like that that are all about different art, art styles. And if you look hard enough, you'll find them. At any rate, hope this helped you guys see art and math a little bit differently. And it's just something that I've been toying around with for the last year or so, ever since I started delving into the world of Copic markers. And I thought you guys might be interested in seeing this. So anyway, thank you guys so much for wa uh, watching. Stay awesome.